We need to talk about Pete Golding. Can he get revenge? Gentlemen, I don't know if you've been peeping Ole Miss, and have y'all seen what their major weakness is? They cannot stop a running quarterback to save their life right now. Didn't the Mercer quarterback take it off for like 73? Sure did. Pete Golden, can he get revenge? I don't think Pete Golden gets revenge anytime soon, calling the defense how he calls the defense. I don't care where he goes. That passive-aggressive style of defense is not going to be successful on no level. Maybe in the pack, you know, but not in the SEC, especially against a team where even if you if you play that passive-aggressive, the amount of cushion he used to require our DBs to give, I see the same uh, thing with Ole Miss. I see corners lining 9 to 12 yards off the ball basically playing safety outside the hashes. And when you have a lineman like that, I would hope Tommy Reese Why instantly he- goes to the run game, quick <laughs> quick screen game, bubble screen game, right. get the tight end out there on the perimeter to go and clean up or pull your guard out there on the, on the jailbreak screen, sliding all your protection. Like, I would hope those are the simple things you do when you see those type of alignments. I hate, I'm going to be real, y'all. I hate to say it. Pete Golden is going to get revenge on Alabama, the Alabama fan base. Because he's going to come in and he's going to remind us of how horrible he was in this <laughs> Ole Miss blowout. And the <laughs> one thing we know about Golding's defense, if it gets to third and Golding, it's pretty much well a guarantee and just send out a wheel route. If we do not utilize the tight ends in this game and the running oh, back out oh the backfield, God. I, Tommy Reese, it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to – I'm going to be on the fire Tommy Reese. Well, I don't care if it changes later in this season. Bro, Pete Golden has been on national TV for the past four and a half, five, what, five seasons? He's been the marquee guy. You have nothing but repeated instances where the same thing is beating this guy. Nobody's done that this special to be Pete Golden. He does all this dress up and make up stuff pre-snap for no reason. Listen, we got Tommy Reese versus Pete Golden. I mean, probably two of the worst coordinators come through Coach Saban era. But, you know, I think I don't think he gets his revenge. We got rid of the clone Saban, and the real Saban is here. I think you're going to see a different Bama team. Van has a comment up here. He says, uh, Pete checks for wheel routes under his bed at night. Real talk. <laughs> Van, uh, Pete Golding looks, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> too accurate. Yeah. Chris, talk to me. Will Pete nope. Golding get it? Oh, 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 okay. Okay. I'm going to cut y'all right there. I'm going to cut y'all right there. Okay. No. As far as Pete Golding goes, the thing that is consistent with him is his inconsistency. He can look great for a couple of series and then be Pete Golding for the next three or four series. He's still not making adjustments. He is not bringing pressure. I think they only had two sacks this past game. But if if ever there was a time for him to be dialed in, it will be against Alabama. I think he'll probably do his best coaching job, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The things that y'all just pointed out, there are weaknesses in this game are going to be exposed again uh, if Tommy Reese does what he's supposed to do. (laughs) 